सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू गेट टू यूट्यूब चैनल वंस अगेन आई होप यू आर आर डूइंग वेल एंड वर्किंग गुड सो दिस इज द कंटिन्यूशन वीडियो ऑफ आर प्लेलिस्ट ऑफ अ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर टेक्नोलॉजी इन विच वी आर स्टार्टेड विद द एन एक्स पी एस थर्टी टू के वन फोर फोर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर यूजिंग द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स वर्जन टू डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियोज वी हैव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टार्टेड विद द आई डी इंटीग्रेटेड डेवलपमेंट इन्वायरमेंट डेट विल बी यूज फॉर प्रोग्रामिंग एंड डेवलपिंग द कोड फॉर दिस माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो in this video we are going to understand how to compile and how to debug the code in the studio design studio id for this microcontroller so now without wasting time let's get started so in the last couple of videos we have started with the design studio id and we have covered its four part part 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 is also scheduled before this video and on all these four parts we have first of all get to know about the id how to use it how to make the project on it how to configure it understanding the code configuration tools on it and i have also written the blog on the on this getting started with design studio part 1 part 2 part 3 Which you can refer on the Get to Byte website. So now in this video, what we are going to understand about is the build process in the debugging in the Design Studio ID. So like in the previously we have made we have conf we have developed the code and then we have also understood the code configuration tool for configuring and for making the code. Now the thing is that we have got our multiple source files. Okay. we have got we have written our code and our main dot c is file run now so as to run this code into our microcontroller we have to do the uh, build process and this concept in embedded system is called as build process or compilation process in uh, for microcontrollers so this build and compilation process is very important to understand from the point of view of understanding the embedded system basics microcontroller basics that how are dot c dot h files there are multiple dot c and dot h files that are being developed in our project okay so but in a microcontroller so as to run this program we need to execute only single file that to in machine language that is in 1010 language so how does this lang code which is written in english or in a some syntax how does it gets convert into the binary format that to correspond to a microcontroller so whole of this concept comes under the build process or compilation process in microcontrollers i have in the blog which i have told you part 3 so in this blog before the, by the time this video will be uploaded you will be able to see that i have understand tell i have told all these steps and all these embedded basics in the blog of my getting started with design studio part 3 so you can get to know about that thing from here and now what we are going to just understand is just how to build the process in the microcontroller for the study to k144 using studio design studio id also in the blog i would be telling that what all different tools are used for compilation the uh, microcontroller code like there is need of linker script startup code there is also need of compilers like gnu gcc compiler and uh, all such c make make file for compiling and for uh, for for compiling all the dot c dot h files into sync executable and all these things so you will be getting an idea about all such embedded basic concepts and compilation process from my blog so clicking on the project and then go to the project and click on build project and then you will be able to see there will be a console window that will pop up and our compilation project process for the project would be started okay so all the now it has invoked the compiler and all the dot c dot h files are being first of all converted into object files and then their linking is done and then they finally the elf is what we got it and you can see over here that in the project explorer there would be a folder created by the name of debug flash in which you can see all the object files of your of your uh, this dot uh, c dot h files and all the uh, and the elf file and the map file so is to know about what is object file what is elf file what is map file and about the build process i would highly recommend to refer to the blog that i am telling you on the get to write website okay now before moving further that how to we flash this elf file into a microcontroller 
I want to tell you about some configurations and some settings that we can do in the build. So in the design studio ID, so clicking on the project on the and you will be able to see there are build configuration and build configuration explorer. So build configuration is a very important and very useful feature. So in this, we can basically configure like in a single project, we can create different configurations, debug flash and debug RAM. So let's say if we have configured debug flash, so we have uh, configured some of the files for it. And if we are using debug RAM, so like debug flash basically flash, uh, generates the L file for the flash memory of the microcontroller and debug RAM will basically generate the L file for flashing the code into the RAM memory of the microcontroller. So like using the build configuration, we can also make our own configurations manage, go to the manage and we can create new configurations and uh, creating the new configurations and like we can then configure what all files we do we need to configure for which configuration and fit those things. So it becomes very easy feature when in a single project we are uh, making different features and different sub projects. So using uh, same project as a main project and then we can create different configurations for it. Another feature that is also very useful and important one is the build configuration explorer. Uh, so in the build configuration explorer, basically what all builds that you have configured. Okay. You can configure that what all files do we need to compile in which configuration. So via this feature, we can also like make different projects and we can configure that. Okay. Which files or which features do we need to enable in which configuration and in which not. Okay. So another also important fee thing to be noted when we are doing the build process is that now let's now the build process in the process there are number of .c .h files that I am telling you guys all about. So these .c .h files has to be linked to our project. Okay. And this link linking is done by giving the path to the of these .c .h files. So this is also very important step where sometimes many a times our code is not compiled because we have not given the properly in parts of our .c .h files. So click on the properties, go to the CC++ build and go to the settings part. And over here you can see you can do the build configuration settings that what path do we are using, what is the compiler we are using and adding some additional flags or commands on it. What are the preprocessor optimizations if we have to do? This is the include where we can uh, like write the include path of the directory for the some for whatever .c .h files you are using. Okay. And then there is the linker on it. What linker file we are using, we can get to know from here and all those things. So this is very important and this might be new for many of you guys, but don't worry. You will get a basic idea that what I am telling in this from after reading my blog that I am telling you about. And these things we would be using when we'll be doing more hands on on project building on this K144 microcontroller. Okay. So, yes. So, that's all about the build configuration and how to do the build of a project in our Studio Design Studio ID. I have to tell you guys about. So, you will be able to see the like we have selected debug RAM. So in the debug RAM folder is enabled and we can see the L for it. Same way if we select the debug uh, uh, configuration, uh, debug flash. So our debug flash folder will be enabled and uh, we can also see the debug, uh, the L file for it. Okay. So yeah, that's it for this. Now in the video, the video. Now in the next video, we are going to understand and explore the debug and the run uh, feature of a design studio ID that how we are going to flash this L file into our microcontroller. And then we are going to explore just different debug views that how we can debug the code and uh, see what are the, how the, uh, how our app is behaving. So that's it for now guys. Like the video and subscribe to the channel and do share it among your friends and press the bell icon to get notified with such videos as and when they are uploaded. Yeah.